conflict of interest or have received compensation. Posterior subtalar arthroscopic arthrodesis. arthrodesis. This is a 57 years old made case of post traumatic osteoarthritis in the left foot. The patient is placed in prone position and used endoscopic portals posterior described by Van Dyke with vision in the posterolateral portal and saver of 3.5 millimeters in the posterior medial portal, we started braying the fascia crural of Rubier and Canela. We work with the saver made lateral to avoid injuring the posterior tibial neurovascular structures to identify the flexor allophis longus tendon. This is the main structure to identify and marks our file of work just lateral to it. Intermalar ligament and the posterior talar process is observed. After talar posterior process is resected, we can see the subtalar joint and proximal the tibiotalar joint. We spend a nitinol in order to pass a bus loop or a nylon shutter to mark the tendon, pull it, and avoid injuring. This is an important step to protect both flexor allophis longus tendon and neurovascular structure. We must be extremely careful when preparing the joint. The hardest part of access is anterior medial portion of the posterior subtalar joint. Sometimes a third portal in the sinus tarsi is necessary to complete the debridement of the anterior aspect of the joint. We have an excellent view of the posterior subtalar joint. The objective as in all arthrodesis, is to remove the damaged cartilage, subchondral bone healthy obtained, and maintain parallelism of the articular surfaces, and of course, rigid fixation. This step is important to be meticulous. Proceed to debride the cartilage degenerated, maintaining the highest possible subchondral bone. We begin mailing posterior to anterior and medial to lateral side to maintain the articular surfaces. We are able to correct varus or valgus deformities under 10 degrees, miling over the lateral or medial size respectively. We start to prepare the joint surfaces using a small chisels, curatase, saver, and spherical burns. The instruments must be suitable and small joints to access all the articular surface. We don't use any method of joint distractions. When the articular surfaces are prepared, we introduce the needle guide of the 6.5 mm cannulated screw under direct visualization and fluoroscopic control. We note the co-option of the articular surface occurs.